Let's bury our dead. It's My time. Heart is heavy. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There's nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand. She will live on in our memories, from now to the end of days. And to Hjor, warrior, husband, and a friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I here repay it. And to Humboldt, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead, our fallen warriors, and speed them to their end. What's the next step? Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I've made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. I should return to Swanborough and tell her of Hunwald's fate. Better the news comes from me than a stranger. Okay, so we're done in Hamptonshire. But we didn't get... We didn't get Alfred. So back to Ravensthorpe to tell... 
Her name is Swanborough? A weird name. Do I have any new ingots? Between you and what have you got? Ah, I've got three. That one's pretty good. Gonna be the bow. Thank you for trusting me. Hands with your gear. There. Now it fits the rest of my gear a little better. I must be on. Be well, my friend. One more, and only because you all Golden bow. Good day. You hear that? Thor's testicles. What is happening over there? Eivor? Swanbro, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I'm sorry. Oh! My home! No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely and turned the tide to secure victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. I know words are poor salve for a wounded heart. I will leave you to mourn and know that we are here for you, always, should you need us. To Ranby. What is this? Why am I getting stuck here? <laughs> Makes no sense. Eivor, there you are. I have something for you. A message. Quite strange. <sighs> hey, my boy. Something what? for me. What is it? A letter requesting your presence in the southwest. A village called Athelny. Nothing strange about a summons for me, is there? It is not the recipient I find strange. It is the sender. The letter is signed, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Ah, our mysterious partner. For a short time, I hoped it might be Bassam feeding us the names of these targets. He seemed the most likely man, for a time. Only one way to discover the truth. Thank you, Hytham. I will take care of this. Eivor, the Raven Clan of Mercia. The Order of Ancients is all but destroyed, and your good works in England are all but complete. One heathen yet remains, the Grand Magister of this contemptible order. 
Should you wish to finish your work, come to Athony in the northwest of Hamptonshire, and we will discuss the means by which you may find this last elusive target. Blessings upon you, a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Well, that's a, that's a possibility. Athelney, Northwest Hamptonshire. So that would be the quest for potentially finding the father. Let's report the news to Ranvi. Good to see you. The pledge is complete. Hamptonshire has fallen, and with it, the Kingdom of Wessex. But the cost was great. Maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then. You have earned it. On the backs of so many. Time will tell if it was worth it. It's our final pledge. We've done it all. Well, Actually, let me talk to R Ranvi. I should have asked to see if what the options are. Can I look at the map again? I want to see the Alliance map. There's nothing left. Okay. I, I should go. I guess that's the end of the Alliance map. And now we go south to Hamptonshire. The Athelney. Teddy bear. Let's find our poor fellow soldier of Christ. This ain't it, is it? <laughs> oh, that's it. What a puny little podunk place. In a fen. They stand out. All right there? Yes, hello. I, 
I do not mean to intrude, but I am looking for someone. And who would that be then? I. I do not know exactly. Well, that would be why you ain't found him. But you're free to pass the time just here if you like. Thank you. gonna take a nap a long nap dang a day long nap 24 cakes, hours do you know soy cakes i do i enjoy them they're <gasps> small things size of a lumpy fist so they'll bake fast keep your eyes sharp and the butter Alfred. do i baste them no need love we leave the butter for meal time i look forward to it right then i'll leave you to this if you need me, I'll be doing the washing up next door. Quite a step down from your former work, Lord. As their guest, I volunteer to help with the daily chores. They offer me a bed. I tend the cakes. Do they not feel strange giving orders to their king? Or do they know? That knowledge would benefit no one. I read your message. You went through a great deal of trouble to obscure yourself as this poor soldier of Christ. As I remember, you even sent yourself one of these letters in Winchester. A clever touch. The Order wanted me dead. I had to be careful. You said you knew nothing about the Order then. Pled ignorance. But you knew everything. Their names. Their schemes. Would you join me for a war? You look well, Eivor. I am. The wars have ended, and my settlement thrives. The wars have not ended. You have simply stopped fighting. But men are brewing plots in mead halls and bedrooms. You will see. And how are you, Alfred? Getting used to the idea of being unremarkable? I am well. Better than I expected. In this exile, I have found a somewhat nourishing peace. Each morning, I am awakened by the sun and growling cormorants. I bathe in the chilly water of the marsh. I eat from shrubs and drink from buckets. It is a good life. Simple. Blessed. I've never been so far west. I find it quite peaceful here. Calming. I have traveled a long way to hear one name, Alfred. Who is the Order's Grand Magister? Tell your shadowy friends that England is swept clean. Your work is done. You. It's King Alfred. Grand Magister was not a title I desired. It passed to me on the death of my brother. From my father before him. Defilers of God's majesty and grandeur. I was their master, and I loathed them. With Goodwin, I set a plan in motion to destroy the Order from within. But my troubles with the Danes delayed that plan. But your trouble with this Dane is what led to their demise. You are Norse, are you not? You have a good year. I owe you my thanks, Eivor. For that, I give you this. The key to my study. That you may better understand the good you have done. With the order all but destroyed, you have made room for a greater idea. One to take its place. A universal divine order. Inspired by God for the betterment of man. With a poor fellow soldier at its head. You have saved England. Whether or not that was your intent. Now let England save you. England is no more, Lord. You are the last of her kings, and yet you have no kingdom. Look around you. God's works are wondrous. They cannot be ignored, nor resisted. In time, all those who accept God will flourish, and all those who defy him will fall away. 
Should you remain in England, you too will one day be her subject. Oh, bloody crumbs. The cakes are burnt. Where is that man? Young man, where have you gone? Damn. That may have earned me a night of washing linens. I do not know if we shall meet again, Eivor. God willing, we will. As one lord to another, perhaps. I'm coming, my lady. I'm here. You burned the cakes. So we have to go to his study now. See what it opens. Alfred gave me a key to unlock his study. Somewhere in Winchester. Let's go get it.